All right, let's talk about how to read a CAC score. What is CAC? It stands for coronary artery calcification score. This is the amount of calcium and placking that is inside your arteries. When the inside of the blood vessel becomes irritated through oxidative stress or injury, the body comes in to repair it with calcium and the cholesterol. And the more calcium you have in the arteries, the more you're at risk for getting a heart attack. In fact, 90% of men and 67% of women over the age of 70 has some amount of calcium in their arteries. And personally, my opinion of why this is, because consuming high amounts of carbohydrate in your diet is like taking steel wool and kind of sanding the inside of your arteries. It creates a lot of irritation, a lot of inflammation. So this scoring system goes from zero, you can go over a thousand, but ideally you want this score to be zero. And that will tell you there's no placking in the arteries and the possibility of getting heart disease is very, very low. In fact, this test, the CAC test, is one of the best predictors of mortality from all types of death. It just tells you what's going on internally, but it's way better than a cholesterol test. And it's not that expensive. I got the test and thank goodness it was zero. All right, now if the score is between one and 10, uh, the plaque is very minimal and there's a low chance of getting a heart attack. If the score is between 11 and 100, there's mild atherosclerosis and your probability of getting a heart attack is minimal but it tells you something is brewing in the oven. Okay, so if your score is between 101 and 400, there's a moderate amount of atherosclerosis and you have a moderate risk or a probability of getting a heart attack. Now, if you're over 400, okay, we have extensive atherosclerosis and you have a high chance of getting a heart attack. So I would recommend getting this test, find out where you are and realize if it's high, you can do something about it, okay? And then go get retested maybe three months later. But here's what you need to do. You need to go low carb. You need to do intermittent fasting and periodic prolonged fasting. I would highly recommend taking niacin, the type of niacin that gives you that flushing. That is gonna increase your HDL which is kind of like the vacuum cleaner. It tends to take any excess cholesterol and pull it out of the body. And then the next one I would recommend is tocotrienols because that is going to protect the inside of the arteries against free radicals. It's 50 times stronger than the tocopherols. Tocotrienols, it's a type of vitamin E. So that actually will help you reduce inflammation. All right, and then I would take vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 helps to uh, mobilize calcium out of the arteries and it keeps it in the bone. And lastly, I would take a chelator. It's called EDTA. That can help remove some of the calcium inside the arteries. All right, that's the plan. And thanks for watching.